thing that we're running into is this this uh, wet pattern that we're in. For me, it's boy, we get with these narrow planting windows. Maybe a person should be thinking about two planters if you can swing it. I'm kind of with Nate. Um, I have a drill and a planter, and I think this year I plan on running them both at the same time, corn and beans, as soon as you can. So. Using an air drill and corn planter too, just to get good seed seed placement and let it get out of the ground good. So learn where my wet spots are again. The air drill did carry better in, in the wet soils. Equipment wise, is there any, are you looking at any modifications or you think you're gonna be can you find the same kind of setup? Is that what you guys are going with? I'll stay with the same setup, so. We actually, I uh, <clears throat> traded planters last year and went to a hydraulic downforce. That's individual row. Man, that is unbelievable how much of a difference that makes. Love that hydraulic downforce. Did you have springs before or air? Air. Air? Active air. Yeah. Okay. Nate's putting on some new openers this year. I, they probably need to be replaced anyway, but uh, they're going to cut a lot better uh, yep. next year. Yep. I mean, um, yep. I think that's important, right? The bill was <laughs> a little back big, but that's okay. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> Probably one of the challenges is going to be is going from where there was a crop planted to just maybe either cover crop or a different crop all in one field or nothing that got planted. So probably just trying to figure out how to manage that as you're planting now. Just be patient probably is the bigger thing this spring to wait for the ground to dry and get out there and plant it right instead of trying to force it in so much. Thank you.